in five to music. Four, three, two, one, music. We'll go for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hello, and welcome to Everyday Creativity. My name is Dr. Cindy Burnett. And I'm Dr. John Cobram. We would like to start by giving you the ins and outs of this course and the goals and objectives behind it. So let's start at the very beginning. That's, That's a, a very, very good, good place, place to start. start. Every day, all around the world, people just like you are coming up with great ideas and solving difficult problems. The ideas might not change the world overnight, and it wouldn't be surprising if only a few people ever knew about each of those ideas. But the fact remains that creativity is happening everywhere, every day. The question is, how can we better at harnessing our natural talents? That's the purpose of this course. We want to explore everyday creativity. Let's be clear about what we mean. The term everyday creativity was coined by Drs. Ruth Richards and Dennis Kinney more than 25 years ago. They described it as human originality at work and leisure across the diverse activities of everyday life, which is central to human survival and found to some extent in everyone. Everyday creativity refers not only to the human aspect of creativity, but also the process of creativity and the creative product that is developed. In essence, everyday creativity takes the focus away from the eminent creators and turns it inward, towards our own creative accomplishments in day-to-day -day life. This course won't ask you to emulate Steve Jobs or Picasso. Instead, we will ask you to look at the creativity in your local environment, your neighbors, children, colleagues, and yourself. Creativity is innate in all people, and it can be nurtured. Therefore, the goal of this course is not to teach you how to be creative, but rather to recognize, develop, and act upon the creativity that you already possess. And we will accomplish that using three methods. Be aware, be inspired, and be creative. The Be Aware Path is about becoming aware of and understanding the content involved in the field of creativity. There's over 60 years of research underpinning the study of creativity, validating and endorsing the science behind the subject. The Be Inspired Path is about finding inspiration in the everyday creativity of everyday people. We have interviewed more than 50 people about their personal stories of creativity and how they were changed because of it. The Be Creative Path is about developing your own creativity. Many people wish to become more creative but don't know how. This section will help you to deliberately nurture your own innate creativity. Now here's the interesting part. We know that not all viewers are interested in the same routes. Some may love the idea of learning about the science behind creativity, while others may want to focus on the enhancement of their own creative thinking skills. Not everyone has to take the same path. You customize your learning based on your own needs and goals. If you want to focus on one or two paths instead of all three, you're more than welcome to do so. This course is about you and how you prefer to learn. Our goal, when it comes down to it, is to ignite creativity around the world. And we know that by participating in any of these three methods, we will be igniting your creativity. And to spread it even further, we are asking for your help. At the end of each section, we will ask you to post a tweet based on your learning from the lesson you attended. Everyday creativity is present in everyone. Let us prove it to you and help us prove it to others. Thank you for signing up for this course. Now go and be creative. Roll music. <laughs> Going to two, three, two, on it. In 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, let's around.